So when it comes to mathematical proofs, some just get the job done, but then you come across some that are just beautiful, just pretty. And this is a really pretty proof. So we're looking at the alternate segment theorem, and it says that this angle here is equal to this angle here. Now it's important to note that this is a tangent to the circle, and this is just a triangle through any three points. Okay. So how are we going to prove that? Well, it takes a real leap here. It's going to be great. The first step is to find the center of our circle and construct a line from C through the center to the other side. And we'll just call that point D. And now I'm going to join D and B. And now that we have that, you should start seeing something to starting to form, right? We have this one here, which is this angle. And then we have this one here, which is subtended off the same arc which means that this angle must be the same as that angle. But wait, there's more. Passing through the center and then here, we know that that is going to be a right angle. All right, it's starting to come together here because if we know that that's a right angle and if we know that that is the same as that, we have this triangle here that we can say this angle here is equal to um, 90 minus, well, let's give this an, uh, a letter here. Let's just call it angle A. This bit here is equal to 90 minus A, because the internal angles of a triangle are 180. 180 minus the 90 is 90. 90 minus that will give us this bit here. Okay, what else do we have? Well, we know that this is 90 degrees. Why do we know that that's 90 degrees? Because it's a, a line from the center to a tangent. And a line from the center is always going to meet at a 90 degree angle. And if that's 90 degrees, this bit here is going to be equal to that 90 degrees minus that angle there. In other words, 90 minus 90 minus A. And 90 minus 90 minus A is equal to A. And we have therefore proven that that angle is equal to that angle right there. All right, so that's the full proof, but I need to formalize it. We need to write out what we actually did. So let's step through the steps that we did and write them down. First step was constructing a line from C to D passing through the center. Now, what was our next step here? Our next step is to spot that angle CAB is equal to angle CDB because of our little, sometimes people call it the bowtie theorem or the multiple mountain theorem, whatever you want to call it, angles subtended off the same arc. After that, DBC, uh, DBC equals 90 degrees, that's an angle, because of our uh, angle in a semicircle. From there, we can say that angle BCD, this one here, angle BCD plus A plus 90 equals 180 because of the internal angles of the triangle. And you can rearrange that very simply to find that angle BCD is going to be equal to 90 minus A. So taking a break from that line of reasoning, I've just added a little extra letter in here, E, so I can say that angle DCE is 90 degrees. And there's our little coded reason here. Some people call that the tire clamp theorem. All right, so from here, we can really finish this off and find angle BCE. Now, a way to do this would be to say that angle BCE plus angle BCD is equal to 90 degrees because that's our 90 degree angle there. Now, we already know that angle BCD is equal to 90 minus A. And I can rearrange that now to find out what angle BCE is equal to. And it doesn't take a lot to figure out that moving our 90 from this side to this side or subtracting 90 from both sides, we get rid of our 90 and subtract and adding A to both sides, we get 80 there. And we get an angle BCE equals A. Ha! Oh, it's just a really pretty proof. You can see... You don't have to do a lot of work, but you do have to spot that you can drag this dot from there to there and still have our angle be A. Alternate segment, theorem proof, beautiful thing.